Early research suggests that being overweight or obese is associated with worse outcomes following infection with COVID-19. But why might that be? We spoke to Simon Cork, teaching fellow in medical education at King's College London to tell us more. But firstly, how is obesity defined? Obesity is defined generally as someone who has a body mass index or a BMI, which is greater than 30 for obesity. If someone has a BMI over 25, they're considered to be overweight. Body mass index or BMI is calculated as someone's weight in kilograms divided by their height in meters squared. It's not a perfect measure, for example it cannot determine the difference between fat or muscle, but for the vast majority of the population it is a good indication of your overall fat mass. So, to what extent do we see worse outcomes for those who are overweight or obese? What we know is that obesity is associated with a five-fold higher mortality rate um, than people who are, who are not obese. There was a study from Wuhan that showed that 88.2% of people who died with COVID-19 had a BMI that was greater than 25. And in a French study, the risk of mechanical ventilation was seven times higher in obese individuals. Um, so we know that obesity itself uh, seems to be associated with worse outcomes. So, being obese is associated with more severe outcomes. But why is being obese a risk factor? Why that is is still being researched, but we know that there are likely to be multiple reasons. Obesity is associated with low level inflammation um, and one of the, the consequences of COVID-19 infection is you get, uh, you get really high levels of, of inflammation as, as you do when you're fighting off an infection. So having a low level of inflammation uh, seems, to, uh, seems to mean that you're, you're in a, a deficit, you, you have a much greater level of inflammation um, when it comes to uh, being infected with, with the coronavirus. Another reason is that is that uh, people with obesity have reduced cardiorespiratory fitness, um, so they have a heightened demand for ventilation anyway uh, at baseline, they have an elevated work of breathing and diminished respiratory compliance and all that's at baseline, so when you add on top of that uh, a respiratory illness, then your body doesn't have much capacity to, to increase its, uh, its workload, increase its ventilation. So being overweight or obese is associated with extra demand for oxygen, which during a respiratory infection like COVID-19 can be serious if not enough oxygen is getting around the body. This is one reason why obesity is a risk factor for ventilation. Finally, another reason why obesity may increase the risk of COVID-19 has to do with an enzyme called ACE2. The ACE2 receptor is the main way that the virus enters the body. Higher levels of this molecule are thought to be found in fatty tissue. In addition, people with diabetes are often prescribed medicines that increase the expression of this ACE2 receptor in the lungs. And so this could be another reason why obesity is associated with a higher risk of becoming ill with the virus.